Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Super Auto Pets Arena Mode Run. I feel like playing some more of this game. Technically, I have a lot of backlog. I enjoy it. It's my uh, game and play, like in between other activities. It's very good. It's very nice. Um, we can do the untouched pretenders, I guess. Uh, overpowered reactors would have been good, because power is related to reactor. It's a nice one. I think we win this round. Yep. That's an interesting interaction. It pulled the dude forward, but because everyone else was moving forward, it didn't interrupt their build. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to start getting duplicates. I think early level meta is actually really good. Um, I'll level the beat. I'll keep the marmoset frozen. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go for a level 2 marmoset. Um, because you get a lot less out of it. But, I mean, early level, why not? Uh, the beetle should have been where the seahorse is. I hope that doesn't screw me. Oh, uh, no, I don't think it did. We draw this. Very good. Get to preserve as many lives as possible. Okay, I'll start with this. Come on. Yes! You know, a goldfish is like a crappy swan. So I might as well. Get that. Um, maybe, maybe it's a little hasty, uh, shrimping it. I'll leave the marmoset frozen. It'll cost two. The goldfish discounts the units on the left hand side. The shop. Oh. Got decent math there. I still think we just draw this. Which is better than the loss. I can't complain. It'd be nice to rack up some wins early so we aren't in a... Uh, hell, basically. Or no, not hell. Purgatory. Ooh. Jellyfish. I think I, I think I will. I'm going to sell the otter. In theory, I could... Buy a shrimp and just... Roll twice... Try to benefit from the... Nah, that, that doesn't make sense. Oh, excellent. This jellyfish is going to be fucking actually huge. I don't know who I'm going to give the croissant to. I think it's good to get the croissant early. I don't know what this team needs. I feel like we're uh, just in a holding pattern until we get like a good tier 2 unit to build our team around. Getting a lot of draws. Let's see. Mole. It's okay. Not as like a keeper unit though. You know, I knock the dragonfly pretty often, but realistically, like I'm a big fan of the penguin, and the penguin the penguin does basically what the dragonfly does, which is a uh, plus one to two units. At random. Though with Penguin it feels a little less random. I could maybe get a Badger. This week has so many snipes though. That would just be asking for trouble. I don't think I'm going to get a Swan. I think uh, too many economy units will sink the ship. I could get a Shrimp. I think that'd have counter synergy with the Jellyfish though. I'm not going to. This can keep the seahorse on ice. It's going to cost one gold next turn, which will be really, really nice. Oh man, you got two owls. Am hey, jelly. I think we draw this. I don't know why his flamingo is in the bag. Maybe, uh, maybe they made a mistake or something. Okay, level two seahorse. I think I will get a rooster, and I'll just get it now. The rooster is a very good unit. Just have pre-jacked. I could get a giraffe, but I don't think 
So the seahorse is a 6-7. I don't think the giraffe is going to be providing 4-4 four, four stats in a timely enough fashion, at least. Uh, we got a lot of woodpeckers. Might have been worth to start trying to build that. I'll put the croissant on the dragonfly so it pulls its weight uh, earlier rather than later. Alright, there we go. This is a good enough build order. Dragonfly hit the two front dudes, which is nice. I have a strong feeling we're going to win this round. Unless the team is absolutely massive. Oh. Oh. No, we lose this round. Uh, it sucks. That Garlic's a very powerful early game. It is what it is. I hope I didn't like skip past too many garlics. Mm. Kind of tempted not to have the goldfish. Instead go for the trap. But I think I'm going to hold off on it. We got a garlic. Ooh, we got a jellyfish too. I think I'll level the jellyfish, which will juice itself up, and then I'll get garlic. The fox is okay. The fox used to be extremely powerful. It, like, uh, stole food and also multiplied it. They uh, bumped it to the second level, because it was too OP or something. Uh, getting sniped. Mm, another round lost. Well, a husky is pretty good unit. Hmm, the buffalo is super awesome, but it, I would need to get rid of some pet and then another pet, which I guess would be the dragonfly and the goldfish. If you can get it to pop, it's like gaining plus three, plus three each and every round. Hmm. I could even can food it so it's extra plus one, but can food feels kind of worthless nowadays. Hmm. I think we're bleeding really, really hard. I kind of want to keep the dragonfly because level ups. We could have gotten level two giraffe. If I keep the dragonfly, I'd have to get rid of either the seahorse or the rooster. Uh, okay. Not the worst result in the world. It's going to give plus two, plus two random units. Not the worst units a hit. Uh, I think we might win this round. Got that wonderful garlic armor. Yeah, not even close. Maybe maybe we just got unlucky facing super strong teams. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Sorry, Seahorse, but... I think the time to transition is now. I'm not going to try bothering leveling up the Zebra, because I think that would be a mistake. Oh, that's insanely good. The Beaver's also good, and the Mole as well. I'm going to milk up the Jellyfish. Big, I think Big Pet meta is still very good, very strong. There's not enough uh, foodless pets where the Husky would be good. Sort of have to like preemptively jack a team around it. Kind of sucks that the cow ate a buff, but it is what it is. Yeah, I think we win this round as well. Nope, no way we can lose. Wonder why I was running a four team. Maybe uh they weren't paying attention or something. Buy this buffalo. So, a trick that I learned is that you can drag the big buffalo that you already have onto the smaller one. So you can see this guy's got two triggers and he's got three. 
and now it's got three, because it adopts the amount of triggers of the lowest level dude. Or, uh, the bottom dude, I should say. I think food works the same way. The boar is really awesome. I, I think... I want to keep the flex sl slot for the buffalo, though. And put this guy here. Boom. Keeping the chocolate on ice. I think leveling the rooster would be really, really awesome. Oh, man. Oh, that counters the rooster super hard. Oh, well. Are we... Did we die? Nope. We're on lethal now, though. Okay, we got... We got a cow. Which is good. Bison. Uh, the buffalo is scaling super hard. Oh, man. Tyrannosaurus is extremely powerful. It's not necessarily good with the buffalo, though. Yeah, I think I'm not going to do that. I'm sort of running on buy sell meta right now. Think of all the units to buy sell. The snake would be the best currently. So it could get like two or three triggers. Ah, it ate one of the buffs. Little bastard. Might have been worth putting it behind the rooster just in case. No, nope, never mind. It turned out well. And it's thankfully not hitting the saber tooth. Praise be, RNG Jesus. Well, no, nope. yeah, there we go. Snake. Very awesome. It might actually be worth keeping the snake and getting rid of the rooster. Which I think getting the second snake here kind of solidifies that for me. I'm going to buy the snake. Oh, that's nice. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to keep these guys frozen. And I'm going to pair the jellyfish. Zebra's good. Luckily, wrong snake didn't get the buff. It's very good RNG. Uh, the fly, I think, is actually going to combo very well with the snake here. Oh, got rid of it, though. Excellent. That turned out extremely well. Got five wins. Can we pull it out? Can we do a win, even though we have one life? <laughs> I don't know why I'm uh, saying it so awkwardly. Open so. Our buffalo is starting to achieve huge status. I'll just grab this guy. You can sell the zebra later. Put the zebra in the back. It ate a buff. All my units are level 2, so it's starting to be... The dragonfly is paying less dividends. Oh, no! They sniped my fucking jellyfish. Or, not my jellyfish, my uh, snake. Oh, well. I, I think we're still going to win this. Yep. There's no concern. That's a vulnerability in this team I didn't anticipate, though. Or think about, really. I'll level the guy as well. If we got a Tyrannosaurus, he wouldn't be able to juice this turn is the problem. But he would start juicing next turn. It might be worth going to 14, Marty, just to um, get the lemon right now. I think I will. It might result in like a whole extra smack with the buffalo. I'm going to freeze this as well. I just 
pray to R and Jesus. Live one more round, and I think we're solid. Unless, I don't know, we fight like 50-50 teams on the enemy team. Oh, crap. Oh, I think we lose this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't think buying the T-Rex last round would have helped with that. That sucks. The team was just too big. I'll do another run. I think one run in a video is a little too little. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll cut it into two videos. Who knows? We shall see. Uh, got all random dudes. Um, the elderly sax. I think I'll go with ancient canvas sax. Ah, uh, we lose this round. That's the gamble with the fish. There's a lot of humongous dudes or two three these days. Less so back in the old days when it was the mosquito meta and stuff. The original pack. Which I think I think you can still play the original pack. Ah, eh, might as well. I'll combine the fish and put the roly poly here. It's a little suboptimal, but like, he's gonna provide an HP buff to these units that I'm gonna end up selling soon, anyways. So I think it'll be worth it. We win this round either way. Pouting whales are destroyed. It's the first win under our belt. You know, the goldfish did not. was not bad. I think I will do it. It'd be funny to put the meat bone on the goldfish. I might do that as well. A croissant's like a like a permanent meat bone. I think I'll peach the pill bug. Because it's an odd number round, I'm also gonna move him uh, to here. It only pays out the HP on when the shop tears up, so you might as well move him around to the most optimal position whenever possible. Uh, we draw this, which is good. Uh, hilariously enough, uh, it was the fish, the horse fish, seahorse that ended up paying out with that win, or that draw. We could go for an aardvark build, because we got two rats here. I, I think I might. Because the rat summons deuterinos for the enemy. So, an aardvark would be very good. Plus, jacking them up. Your sonnet early as well. It's nice. There's so many 1 XP Martys. Probably. Oh, I should have swapped the position of the rat and the fish. Crap. Well, it, it ended up working out. In general, though, not best practice, because it's losing out on a 1 HP buff. Actually, when I say that, it sounds like it's very much a non-issue. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for a shrimp build. I'm going to get rid of the pill bug, so I can start juicing up the rat as much as possible. It's hard work even. No. We didn't get any duplicates. Alright, please aren't Jesus. Back three units. Okay. Okay. Not too horrible. There we go. This shall be the build order. I'm still holding on to the fish to give a... Uh, like three plus one plus ones to the dudes that I care about. The marmoset's getting so huge, I think it might actually be worth just keeping it around, never benefiting from its thing. Oh, we win this one. Oh, that's super good. Very nice. Here's the aardvark I was talking about. You know what? Sorry, fish. You had your time in the sun. You did help me out, but now it's time. Um, I'm going to give the croissant to the giraffe as well. 
it might be a mistake. I don't know how much of a permanent unit the draft's going to be, but I'm also going to give the rat plus 2 HP. So in theory, the strongest unit should be up front, but the rat sort of has this thing where it needs space on the enemy team to be good. So I think I'll, I'll have the marmoset up front. 12-12 unit on turn 6 also is very, very solid, by the way. Yep. Alrighty, because it was a level 1 badger, good to go. The badger used to provide its level 2 bonus at level 1, by the way. It was absolutely crazy. It's like uh, honey badgers all the way down. If I'm gonna keep the marmoset, which seems like a really bad idea, why wouldn't I just go for the rooster? I mean, I guess I could go for the ribbon on him. Do I have a ribbon on the rooster? Nah. Okay, uh, this is gonna hurt, but I think getting the rooster up and running as soon as possible is just so valuable. I think this might be the team that we end up running with for a long time, but that's a buffalo early. Ooh, actually, you know what? <laughs> that sucks, but might might be we might be reorganizing our team very shortly, actually, after all. Ooh. Oh, that that turned out pretty good. a nice trade there, and we win this round. Oh, that's extremely good, too. Okay, if I wanted a bison, who would I get rid of? Obviously, the things that come to mind are the giraffe and the goldfish or rooster. Kind of sucks to lose out on sailing, uh, scaling. Mm, there's so many cell triggers this week, though. There's the owl, and the beaver, and this dude, the mole, and the crow, and the zebra. Kind of feels like a mistake not to go for the buffalo. Eh, you know what? I just did one buffalo run. If nothing else, then for that I'll do this. I don't want to go super duper hard on the fried shrimp on the rooster, even though it is kind of good because there's a lot of snipes this week. I said this before, but like a dolphin, it's a good reason not to have the rooster at uh, less than. Well, I guess if the dolphin has a pineapple, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Rip. It'd be cool to get a level 2 rat in Aardvark. I think that's what's holding our team back right now. We're still pretty healthy on lives, which is good. Uh, I think I will lemon the rat. I know it's really early. Croissant would maybe benefit. I could lemon the aardvark as well. Rooster's good. Maybe I rolled a little too aggressively. Wow, level 2 rooster early is good. Alright, um, I think I will lemon the aardvark. It's very valuable. You can level up the rooster next time and pair the aardvark or the rat. Two for one on that guy, it's not great. The lemon did just pay dividends now, which is nice. Ah, oh, crap. Another loss. We have... We're on lethal now. Big sucky. It's, I think it's definitely nearing the time of the giraffe's final moments. Though again, I'm a little reticent to not have any scaling. So I will basically guarantee we die uh, shortly. The rat's too big to fail. Too big to fail right now. Could get rid of the goldfish, but that also sucks majorly. 
but I mean, we're not losing much stats if I'm getting an octopus. So let's be real here. There's no point in buy selling. Um, I don't know if a pear is the optimal thing on an octopus either. It might be better just to have pineapple. Eh, actually, I say that. More triggers, more good. On the octopus. Oh, no! Oh, the. No! Okay, please snipe the giraffe. Please, dolphin. That works too, I guess. Got both chicks. Okay. Oh, it hit the wrong enemy. No. Aren't oh, Jesus? No. Oh well. Rip. Still, a respectable run. We got five wins. Can't complain. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you can let me know by liking and commenting down below. If not, that's fine as well. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time where we will be playing even more Super Auto Pets. Goodbye!